It's around 4.35 on Saturday, no, Friday the 26th, 7th of uh, March. I mean, somewhere in north of Calgary. Real north of Calgary. 40 kilometers north of Calgary, west. Pump jacks everywhere here. Oil and gas country. Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today we're doing a Movie Studio 16 Platinum text effect. We're going to use a masked text effect. Now, I've got a problem speaking, so if I'm speaking too fast or it sounds like I'm mumbling, I sincerely apologize. But please bear with me and just watch the tutorial. So here, if you notice in the bottom here, we don't have any tracks here. I deleted all these. I highlight them with the control key down and delete them all. I can start fresh from scratch. Because once you drag the proper media to the timeline, it will automatically create the proper track for you. So you drag video down there, it's going to create a video track, text, it's going to create a text track. So that's how Vegas Pro works. So anyway, so here I have some video footage of an oil pump jack I took about a week ago. So let's drag this to the timeline. And let's mute the, the audio for now. So let's right click, insert video track, Right click, insert text media, and we're going to call this the caps locked on. Call it uh, pump jack. That's what this is pump jack for pumping oil. And we're going to change this to impact. Thick fonts work the best for this effect. Oops. Back there a second. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, now we want to make this text bigger. Do not use the font size. Use scale. Because if you use the font size, when you're zooming in past the text, it's going to leave jagged edges. So let's bring this up quite a bit. Let's go right there. Make this the entire length of the project. Now, if you're using Movie Studio 15, this won't work. This won't work on Movie Studio uh, 16 and uh, 17 when 17 is released. So here we're going to go to making sure your cursor is at the beginning. Go to Event Pen and Crop. So we'll make it static to about here. Add a keyframe. And we'll start the zoom effect um, right about here. So what we're going to do Scroll the wheel back so you can zoom out. We're going to zoom this all the way in to a little uh, hyphen. We're zooming in with the scroll wheel. You know, let's move this. Oops, let's move a little more. A little more. Okay. So in the compositing mode, right here, Oops, this is hidden. So multiply mask. I reset the layout, that's why it's hidden. So let's put the cursor at the beginning. Let me show all of them. I reset the layout on this thing, that's why it's a little messing me up here for a bit. So anyways, so put the cursor at the beginning. Let's put this back. Watch what happens. We zoom past the text, through the text, and reveal the video in behind. Now, if you're using an older version of Movie Studio, or even Vegas Pro 16, say if you say you're using Vegas Pro 15, it's going to go black on you. So what you have to do is wherever it goes black, so it goes black right about here, you split your video track, and put the video track above it. Because multiply mask on older versions affects everything below below the tracks when you use multiply mask. Actually I don't like this view anyway. Let's use this let's just switch this to um out. Hmm. On Vegas Pro it has 
Vegas Pro 14 layout, but you can't do it on this movie studio. Let's see why? No, I guess you can't, because the only way to do it is to show them all of them. So now you compile them over here. So if you want to change your composite mode, see how, or change your button setup, set up, just go to this little three little marks there, more, visible button set, select all, show all, click OK. That's going to make your editing in the future a lot easier than, than going around trying to find all your buttons. Just a lot easier. So this is a quick video on just doing a nice um, mass text effect. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, Thank you for watching.